First tonight, we're keeping an eye on an astronaut launch from the Space Coast, still set for tonight, at least as of this minute. SpaceX and NASA want to send three astronauts and a Russian cosmonaut to the International Space Station just after 11 o'clock tonight. But will the weather cooperate this time around? It does not look great. I hate to tell you. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Aiken. Glad you're with us on this Saturday. we got live team coverage for you from the Cape. We start with New 6 space correspondent James Barvero, who's live at the Kennedy Space Center monitoring the countdown for us. James. Hey Eric, well that countdown clock, it is on approaching 1116 tonight. Crew 8 is the eighth full length duration mission between NASA and SpaceX under the commercial crew program. This program going on for four years now with missions to the space station. And it's the fifth for this particular crew capsule. That would be the SpaceX Crew Dragon Endeavor. Right now it's on top of the Falcon 9 rocket at launch pad 39A. This far out, the astronauts aren't there yet. We should see them in a couple of hours. The crew this evening, they are made up of the one space flight veteran this evening. That would be Dr. Michael Barrett. There's also Jeanette Epps from NASA. She is also an engineer, will be her first time in space. That goes as well for the cosmonaut on the mission, the Russian Alex Rubankin. And the commander tonight is Matt Dominic of NASA's astronaut class of 2017. The crew arrived here a few days ago. Listen to Dominic's excitement, not just about their mission, but about everything happening right now on the Space Coast with our record launch pace. Who would have thought five or six years ago that the competition for launch or the constraint to launch would be a launch pad, right? Like we delayed our launch a few days because there's stiff competition to get out there to 39A. It's not a rocket constraint, it's a pad constraint. And he ended that portion of the press conference saying, Crew 7, we're coming for you. Crew 8, of course, replaces Crew 7. They launched to the space station last year. But it's a big if, of course, Eric. You're, you're watching at the station. Samara's watching. It's the weather. NASA and SpaceX say conditions are just a 40% chance for a liftoff. So if it doesn't happen tonight, it could happen tomorrow night. For right now, the countdown is on. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. Yeah, we were supposed to try this two days ago. We'll see if it gets off the ground tonight and talk to Samara shortly. James, thanks. We'll check in with you again later. Well, launches like this aren't just about the people going up into space, but the people on the ground watching those people go into space. News 6's Brian Didlake continues our live team coverage from Space View Park. Brian, crowded there. Eric, and we're here early, so the crowds are starting to slowly come in. We just saw some people walk past us right before we came live. And, and speaking of which, right before we did come live, we did talk to one family who said that this is their first time coming to Space View Park to see one of these launches. And so the excitement really is here. Now, if you look over here, you can see the view that many people will be seeing uh, the Kennedy uh, Space Center. As James was talking about, there is only a 40% chance weather will remain favorable for this launch, but that is not not set to stop the crowds hoping to see this rocket torch the night sky later tonight. Now, again, we are going to be here monitoring these crowds as they slowly are starting to form as we wait for this launch. As James was saying, the count is definitely on. We have been seeing people who are going to be monitoring the time to make sure that they're here on time to see this launch come in uh, go uh, into the atmosphere again we're going to be here all night trying to see who we can talk to what their excitement is and get to know a little bit more about the people here as we wait for the space launch but for right now we are live here at space view park brian ditlake getting results new six yeah pro tip if you want a space where brian is right now at space view park go now <laughs> he's still got a few hours you could get right up front <laughs> by the water there brian thanks we'll talk to you again soon and of course like i said we'll talk to samara in a few minutes about what she thinks the chances are. We're trying to get this off the ground in five hours, 18 minutes and 14 seconds as of now. So right after 11 p.m. You can watch it here during our newscast when it happens and also on clickorlando.com.